Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last episode, we in continued our exploration of the region around the temple that is related to the shards we've been collecting. Um, and then we actually entered the temple and used the shards to open some of the doors and got ourselves some bonuses, but we ran out of shards. So we're going to need to continue to gather those from the various zones that we are in. We're probably going to go back there and just clean that region up just to take care of it. Um, but we are back at the war table to pick up the results of our previous missions and set up some, some new ones. So, um, consequences of Black Wall's lie. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Uh, we have sent emissaries with formal apologies. We returned all that could be returned. We paid in kind for what we could not. Liliana will store the Grey Warden's treaties in the Skyhold archives in remembrance of mistakes made and lessons learned. Okay. Find a sponsor for the Du Parquets. A letter to Countess Dion. My dearest Lynette, I was injured on the way back from the Conclave when this insane war up between the apostates and the Templars. I made it to a decrepit inn just before the gash on my leg turned into a fever. Fortunately, when the Inquisition's people found me, they sent for a proper healer. I owe them my life, I'm certain. So the Inquisition will deliver this letter to you, which is the first peace of mind I've had since the Conclave. Stay in the capital, my love, until I can come to you. Yours, always, Ellerly. Okay, I got some influence. So I wonder if we now have a conversation to have with Josephine. We'll have to check. And in Ferelden, patrol for the crew. The Sutherland lad and his small crew are reported in. Only minor trouble, as expected. Nevertheless, they have increased our presence. They seem useful freelancers. Good. All right. So let's take care of these things here. Um... Contact Hero of Ferelden. The only one that can do this is Liliana. So none of our agents have seen the Hero of Ferelden, but our normal work led us to scattered references of her passing through the area. It will take a serious commitment of resources, but we could attempt to contact her. Okay. Inquisitor. Fourteen and a half hours. Alright, hard in high town, trouble in Skyhold. Didn't I want to send Liliana on this one? I think so. So I'll have to hold off on that one. Celebrate the dragon slang. What do we want to do with this? She can't participate. Okay. This is the trophies we've collected and put the word. We are celebrating our dragon slayer. Fascinating nobles will do anything for invitation. Wade and Heron are troublesome, but Wade's talent is undeniable. Oh yeah, we wanted to send the the carcass, or at least the dragon scales, to Wade and Heron. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And do we have something for Josephine to do? Regardless of whether Cole is a demon or a spirit, he remains vulnerable to venatory binding magic, the amulet of the unbound, used by Rivani. Seers is said to protect the spirits from such magic. However, finding such an amulet in this part of the world will be difficult. Remember, my Ravani contacts say these amulets are held dear, but to protect spirits from the breach, they are willing to help us. Okay? We'll send Josephine on that mission. Alright. So let's go ahead and have a chat with Josephine now that we've ran one stage of her uh, companion quest and see if we have any new conversations. All right, Josephine. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? Um... What's our next move? What's the next favor we need to get these due paraquettes a lordship? We need a judge of the royal court to procure documents acknowledging them as nobility again. Okay. A judge. Getting a judge's favor operation is now available. 
All right. We'll do that next time around. All right. So let's just head back to here and continue collecting shards and cleaning up the rest of the quest in this area because it's fairly small and you know easy to knock out relatively. So we're going to head on over there. I'm going to pause recording. I'll be right back. All right, here we are. I've decided to bring uh, Cassandra, Solus, and Bull along. Solus appears to need some points distributed, because we haven't used him in a little while. He is a rift mage like me. But I think we're going to get him fire magic primarily. Since we don't really need a second rift mage. Alright, searing so glyph. Targets hit by fire miner launched in the air instead of flame, leaving them burning. That sounds fun. Lasting flames. Wall of fire creates a larger wall and his flames burn longer on enemies that pass through it. No, lasting flames is what we want to go with. There we go. Alright, is that the only levels uh, points we need to distribute? Yes. Alright, so. We're actually going to head over here start with because there's one more ocularum that we need to take a look at to reveal the rest of the shards here it should be up here oh venatory hi sit down I don't know where the other guy went. I think I may have launched him off the edge. My allies seem to know where he is. Oh. There he is. They got him. All right. Claim the landmark. All right. Good. And let's hit the weird glowy skull. And find those shards. two there's three and there should be a fourth one kicking around here somewhere already found that one sometimes of these the last one can be very elusive uh, is it there? No, no, no. There it is. All right, now. We need to explore the area, try to find these shards, because we need them to get those bonuses from the temple. I don't think I can make that jump. No. All right. Um, Nothing to 
to report, sir. Let's head back to this camp. This place is a bit of a maze, so it may take a while to track these down. Oh, we have a rift over here. Let's go deal with that. complicate our efforts. Close it. Okay. All right, so there's a shard. See if we can't locate another one. Let's see, one's over there. How does one get there? That's... There's... No, I'm not gonna be able to get up there. Okay, um... Just a second. Is there another ocularum over there? Or is it one I've already seen? Yep, there is another one. There's a lot of shards. Makes sense. Spot at one of three, two of three. Three of three, okay. Now there's a shard. Oh.
right near here. There it is. Should be another one over here. Something hostile. Oh. You guys. Still one alive? Oh, it was a fennec. That wall of fire is impressive. Tree of the Ring. Oh, that's right. There's that ring in the cave we need to find as well for that one person who's been wandering around the place. Get head in that direction as well. They said it was full of giant spiders. Venatory. Correctly. There should be a way. To get up there. I think we could probably go that way anyway. Yep, we can't go that way. Serpent Stone. We have some more. Oh no, no, that's the person who gave us the quest. But here's some Venatori. Deal with them.
No found of corpse. A note is charred, but a portion remains legible. The torch will scatter them or draw them. I'm fairly certain they'll scatter. Serpent stone. Alright, so let's just head into the cave. Ah, spiders. That's a lot of spiders. Solus is being busy here. Ball of fire. Stuff running around flaming. Okay, that was a lot of Odd spiders. That would lead us here. Cavern key required. Should we grab all the loot? So we got a lot of um, research materials that need to be turned in. We'll take care of that at some point. Spider requisition in the oasis. Spider ichor and spider eggs. Oh, we have a requisition. Where is this? Quest item. Retrieve the ring. Ah, there it is. Turn the ring. We have a large group of enemies. Ah. Haven't used this in a while.
There we go. I need to find this person. <laughs> For sure there was a way to get up there. Or maybe I remember trying and never being able to get there. Actually... I might want to go this way. There's a shard right there. But let's go up here first. There's an elven artifact. Shard right here. Ah, there's the elven artifact right there. Good. That should help strengthen the veil. Convenient. There should be, yes. Now, the one thing is, I'm not sure I want to do that yet because I think if I drop off of there, there's no going back. Here, Paragon's Luster, grab that shard. How many keys does this stupid temple have, anyway? A lot, apparently. <laughs> Cullen is apparently ready to report in. There is shard. There is another one of these shards below us, I believe. Get 
that archer first. Then we're doing the guy with the shield. Still have there's a locked door in Paris Cavern. Find a key, which is somewhere here. All right, well, we're getting towards the end of this episode, so let me just at least track down. This person we got the ring for, turn that in, and then we'll probably end the episode here. And then I guess what I want to hear back from you guys is I'm going to want to clear up and uh, gather all the shards in this entire zone. Um, so I want to do that. The question becomes, do you want to watch me do it on screen as I wander around this place? Or, should I just go ahead and take care of that on my own and you know, we'll just deal with it off screen? Um, I have something for you. I believe this is yours. Nothing here is worth as much as this. It's all I have left. I don't have much, but this opens one of my old caches. Whatever's left is yours. As thanks. Ah. And that's the key that we were looking for. So let's go ahead and go grab that again. Or grab that before we end. Fade, touch, serpent stone, serpent stone, and some topaz. Fade, touch, serpent stone will be very nice for crafting. All right, so yeah, we'll go ahead and end it here. Um, we're gonna keep on working on this, and I'm probably just gonna do it on screen unless someone, uh, or I'll do it off screen unless someone objects and wants me to see the rest. I want to see the rest of this. Um, oh, hold on. Wandered into a bit of hostile creatures. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.